How's that feeling? Weirder. Weirder? So just start. Sitting down. Huh? I said, because I'm sitting down. I got something I'm used to. Yeah. With my knees and sitting down. All right. Oh, the thing you want to try to try to do is when you're just riding, just cruising like this, it's like, I think you got your foot, your right foot, like way back at your heel. You want to try to ride with like on the ball of the feet. So that's that centrally balances you but when you need the brake see then you gotta come get the brake and then you go back okay. break back break back okay, okay. but you i mean you're doing good you're going into the corner and you're feathering that clutch and controlling your speed i mean why all you want to do is uh try to go faster yeah. i mean you know and what'll happen is you'll get to a point to where you'll wreck because you'll get out of balance yeah. but you, so you want to slowly increase your speed okay so Make you a couple more laps. I'd like to see you try another one standing now and just think about the weight and then we'll just start easing through the trail and go from there. So you're still your butt still going to the inside but you I, I know you're pushing with your knee and the bike's going left but then your butt's on the left side of the seat mm -hmm. it's supposed to be on the other side okay. uh what i was telling you I, I try to figure out a way to make this make sense so if you go left you want to put pressure on your right foot so think about the bike leaning left okay so you just keep the same pressure, but when it leans, there's more pressure on this side, on this foot. So you think about pushing with this foot. Mm -hmm. lean. Yeah, your butt needs to be on a pendulum. Look, if you're going left, the bike goes left, but then your butt needs to go right. Okay. Oh, and I don't know. Say, okay, so you're on it. It's like this. You almost need to pivot your hip. So you right now you're pushing left and you're your whole body's going left which is fine going slow but when you start going fast and you do that it's just going to keep the, the front end won't plant because you're taking when you lean this way you're putting all the weight on this side 
and that's gonna make the front end push. When you when you do this, it plants the front tire. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> you're not switching your weight and you're you need to utilize the corner there's a groove on the outside and you're cutting in and then and then screwing up the flow you use the flow if you'll go to the outside and just flow around it's an easy corner both of these are all three of these this is the best section here these four turns right here oh. now you did it Is they uh, go around down there at the creek hill? Yeah, the old the old line it just runs along. Okay, the side. so you just don't cross the creek. Yeah, okay. you'll just you'll cut a little above the tape where we enter. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think she's ready for the hill, but she may be. I don't know. We'll just go the old way. There you go. The bypass that I put in for the hill climb. Yeah. It's harder than the hill climb. That's what you like. The first uh, in the first 50, 75 yards of it, there's a couple of really off camber slick spots. Yeah. Ain't been wore in yet. Yeah. They'll get you. Watch this right here. Here she comes. She's spinning around that four wheeler, so her balance is all out of whack. Oh, yeah. You put her some cones up, make her do figure eights. Well, she's doing good out here. She keeps blowing the turn because she's not 